Hello everyone and welcome to my channel. This is Alex Fresco and in this video we will see how to create an half inch end mill. So a router bit. We are in the CAD CAM environment. Let's use the navigator here on top so we can switch environment and go in the tool library. Remember this is an environment protected with password so uh, if uh, you just open the software you will have to enter the password. In this case I already did it so we can create a new tool uh, clicking of course on create new element. We will need to assign a name so let's write half inch basically uh, and mill and then uh, we can uh, select the tool class so in this case is a, a tool for uh, the router so we need to select milling cutter there are templates as you can see but uh, we will just use the general so we can start from scratch And we have seen uh, while we were, we were creating the drilling bit how to fill up all these parameters and then uh, in order to adapt the drawing here just click uh, on this function here adapt drawing to length and diameter in this case uh, I will show you a different thing so let's start uh, this time with the morphology which is uh, the tab and uh, basically the parameters that uh, are gonna give a shape to our tool eventually and so the first thing we have to select is the coupling type which it depends of the spindle that your machine will have so in this case the machine that I'm using is equipped with an HSK spindle uh, more precisely is an HSK uh, F63 and then you can select based on what you have to do um, or what you have the, the proper one as you can see we have different types so we have this one that the ER32 call it then this one is just the holder and you can build your own geometry or I mean your own uh, body also for the tool uh, holder eventually and ER40 and so on so you select the one uh, you have and then uh, um, we can assign the body type we are talking about an end mill so the cylindric one here is already fine otherwise you can have a spherical conical and of course the parameters are different LFC shape in case you want to build uh, your own uh, shaped geometry otherwise from uh, geometry if maybe you have already a DXF file that the tool supplier gave you at that point uh, the drawing can be used also to create the shape of the tool we will see how to create tools from geometry in a future video so remember to subscribe so you can um, be notified about new videos and let's go back to the uh, cylinder we said that we want the tool to be half inch as you can see I'm using the metric system because I'm more comfortable with it but uh, if you are using the software in inches you will uh, have to specify inches here so uh, length whatever it is and, the, and this length is basically the length of the tool that is sticking out from the holder so I don't know 50 and diameter which is 12.7 don't pay attention to this uh, error it, it is only because the default uh, parameter for the milling bit is uh, 20 millimeters so we just changed it 
it is smaller and is, is actually a warning that uh, the diameter has to be less or equal the maximum diameter. So we did all, all needs to be done here in this tab in the morphology and uh, now to adapt the length and the diameter we can just use this function here on the top left uh, corner so we can first of all adapt the length from peak on directly on the drawing so let's just click that and where the length needs to be so here and you can just click so from 80 that was the default it went to 122 millimeters as you can see this is the right length that has to be specified for a, a tool so from the nose of the spindle because the nose of the spindle will uh, basically uh, touch the top of the holder until the tip of the bit now let's do the same thing for the diameter so we can adapt the diameter directly from a peak on the drawing and the same thing so you can decide you can get close and uh, it's gonna highlight uh, the selection or otherwise you, you know if you move you can decide if your uh, working diameter has to be something different but in this case we will use this one we will see in a future video when is needed eventually a smaller diameter or, or bigger when it's gonna be more advanced at this point if we go the general data tab we will see that diameter working diameter working length are already filled in uh, we need to specify the direction if this uh, tool spins clockwise or counterclockwise um, end mill you we can specify the tool type material removal if you want to change the color but i mean it doesn't really matter default correction so if we need to assign a default correction for this tool the default uh, right now is uh, central then it can be of course changed directly in the program and then uh, maximum diameter maximum length uh, it takes it directly from the drawing so we are good to go here what uh, we need to specify maximum working depth yes this is is important so how deep we can go when we use this tool so we know that uh, this part so the parts that sticks out from the cone from the holder is uh, 50 in this case and probably the cutting edge is a little bit, little bit less you will have to measure it right now just uh, for this uh, class we will use 45 maximum vertical step so can this tool reach uh, 45 millimeters of depth in one shot if the answer is yes we can just type in 45 if the answer is no maybe because the cutting length uh, is actually shorter we can probably reach 45 millimeter but going down i don't know 15 millimeters uh, for each step so basically if you are trying to use this tool at 40 or 45 millimeter as depth in one shot and you have 15 here the software will give you uh, a warning saying uh, if you want to reach this depth you will have to add vertical steps then horizontal step so let's say in case of a pocketing you want you are using this tool for a pocketing which one is the maximum step horizontal step that this tool can do is usually uh, the diameter otherwise if you go over the diameter uh, i mean you will have uh, uh, some material that is gonna stay there and uh, not being being removed so 
12.7 in, uh, in our case. Cutting thickness is usually uh, the same as the mask maximum working depth. It will change only for the saw blades and uh, Again, we will see when uh, we will create a saw blade, why and uh, what it does. Another really important thing is uh, here in the advanced uh, data tab uh, is the jig safety and uniclamp safety. I already ex explained which one is the difference between these two parameters uh, in the video where I was creating the drilling bit. So if you want to know more about these two parameters, please, please go check also the other video. And we can go ahead and uh, see uh, uses. So can this tool be used also for boring? If the answer is yes, we can enable also boring. And uh, no, in this case, this tool cannot be used as a a saw blade so we are gonna leave that one alone let's check the last uh, really important tab which is uh, the speed so we have the descent which is the approach uh, to the panel a standard uh, then it's up to you but a standard usually here uh, in the showroom I use uh, 12,000 as maximum and 8,000 as a default and 1000 like minimum we have always standard minimum and maximum so also for the, the feed rate so standard minimum and maximum because the standard is always used when nothing is specified in the program otherwise if you have to change it because you are working with another material or software so you need to slow it down or uh, speed it up a little bit. You will have uh, to play between, of course, minimum and maximum. Then uh, advanced, of course, uh, there, there are a lot of different chip load calculators. So it's based usually on the chip load uh, and uh, it goes also by amount of flutes that the tool has. We will see maybe in a future video also what is the recommendation. I usually take it directly from uh, the catalog of a, of a tool supplier. So, uh, but uh, I, I can definitely make a, a video for that, explaining how to calculate and have a good starting point for tools. So. 24,000 the max, 18,000 is the standard. Acceleration and deceleration, this is the time expressed in uh, uh, milliseconds, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so it's usually for a tool like this is three and three is more than enough. And basically is the time that the uh, spindle will wait so that the inverter can reach the programmed RPM. We have seen pretty much all the important parameters. The last thing we have to do is save it, confirm the diameter for this bit and the maximum RPM. And this is it. We are ready to use this tool. We will see in a future video how to tool it up on the machine and start to use it in uh, in the programs i hope this video has been helpful for you see you at the next video